This demo shows the integration between the GeoTest ATEasy Test Executive and DSI Workbench from DSI International. We will use the ATEasy Test Executive to run our test program and transfer the ATML test results to DSI Workbench. We will then use DSI Workbench to analyze and diagnose the results and to identify the location of the defective components. This is GBATS, the GeoTest Basic Automated Test System which is connected through this connector to a unit under test. This is an ATML demo UUT which is used to demonstrate the test features of the GBATS platform. On this ATML demo UUT, there are different switches used to inject failures to the card. On this screen here, you see the ATEasy test executive and a program that is designed to test this UUT. First, we'll go ahead and run the test program while the switches are set correctly so the UUT status will show pass. On the screen here, you're going to see the ATEasy test log with the results. On the last column, on the far right side, you're going to see the status for all of these tests highlighted in green, which are all labeled as pass. Now we will go ahead and view this on DSI Workbench. Notice the gray bar at the top of the screen, indicating that we are awaiting test results in monitor mode. When the test results are received by DSI Workbench from ATEasy, these results will be analyzed and the appropriate diagnosis will be displayed, for this example, on the image of the ATML UUT, on the schematic representation of the design, and on the image of the model that was automatically generated by the Express software. On DSI Workbench, the image can be switched to a grayscale viewing style to enhance color contrast that we'll use to overlay on the objects in the design as we learn operational status. You will notice the green bar at the top of the screen, which means no faults were detected. Now that we know the UUT passes, let's go ahead and inject a failure to the UUT. We will now inject a failure using the UUT's onboard switch to generate a fault. In this case, we will inject an open condition on resistor R2. We will now repeat the test executive's run and generate the ATML test results again indicating exactly which test passed and which test failed during the execution of the test program. When DSI Workbench notices that the file has changed, it will then analyze these test results to determine which component or components have failed using the diagnostic strategy that was developed up front using the Express software. Based on its internal diagnostic analysis, DSI Workbench will show us exactly what is wrong with the UUT so the technician on the production floor will have a quick and easy indication of what needs to be done. You can even add links to repair procedures and technical manuals to further facilitate maintenance. So, we'll go ahead and run it. And because we injected a failure by creating an open on resistor R2, you're going to notice some failure that appears on the screen in the same status column that we looked at earlier. However, this time you will see that several tests have failed, which is indicated in red. Once again, when we first invoke DSI Workbench, notice the gray bar at the top of the screen indicating that we are awaiting test results. You can see that DSI Workbench got the ATML test results and analyzed them using the diagnostics that was prepared earlier using Express. Here on the screen, R2 was highlighted in red, which is the exact fault that we created on the card. Also note, that the bar at the top of the screen, which was gray, is now red, indicating that a fault was indeed detected. And once again, the image can easily be switched to a grayscale viewing style to enhance color contrast. This concludes our demo on the basic integration between the GeoTest ATEasy Test Executive and DSI Workbench from DSI International.